Oh, is it live? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Oh, man, I didn't know. Uh, the the MLB uh, Gambling Podcast on the Sports Gambling Podcast Network is brought to you by Cut. Uh, Cut is a peer-to-peer social betting platform that's U.S.-based um, and available in 40 states. Head to cut.com. That's K-U-T-T dot com and use promo code SGPN for a 10% deposit bonus. Um, we're also brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Uh, play their fantasy pick them for a chance to win 100 times in NBA, MLB, NHL, college basketball, and more. Sign up today using promo code SGPN to get a 100% deposit match. And lastly, we're also brought to you by Hall of Fame Bits, the sports betting research par- uh, platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Download Hall of Fame Bits app or visit hofbits.com. Use promo code SGPN to get 50% off of your first month and start making smarter bits today. All right, man, we're, we had a shaky start to getting started, but uh, yeah, man, we're, we're here um, back to, back with another uh, episode. Uh, me and D-Rock going to try to break it down as best we can. We got a lot of lines out, a lot of pictures out, so usually not not the case for Monday, but uh, yeah, we got, here, got D-Rock with me today, man. D-Rock, how you doing? How was your weekend? I'm doing well. Happy Easter, everyone. Uh, yeah, shaky start, but we're going to have a really good finish, uh, Lante. But uh, doing well the the first couple of days uh, you and I were talking. I think feel like everyone had a great opening day, and then, you know, we kind of got the teeth knocked in a little bit. But uh, overall, yeah. we're we're profitable so far. Yeah, man. Uh, couldn't I couldn't say it best. I couldn't say it better. But, uh, yeah, so we'll jump right into it, man. We got uh, – I forgot how many games, but we got like maybe like a dozen like 14. games that we'll get. Yeah, yeah. 14 that we'll get to um some we'll spend a, a little bit more time than others but uh yeah so we'll, we'll jump right into it d-rock uh we'll start at 2 10 p.m eastern time we got the atlanta braves traveling to the windy city to play the chicago white Sox. uh charlie morton will be going for the braves and we got uh chris flexen for the is it chris yeah chris yeah. flexen is going for the the white Sox. uh we have the braves minus 210 Favorite total eight and a half. Um, I don't see a run line price. Um, yeah, so at all. I, I got uh Braves minus one and a half is minus 125 at DK, plus one and a half for the White Sox is uh plus 108. Okay, yeah, so I'll, I'll start it off, man. Um, it's hard to take the White Sox after I mean, I, they didn't yeah. show. They didn't show much this weekend. Uh, obviously, everything that we talk about is going to be small sample size, uh, you know, three, four games, maybe four for each team. So it, you can't really look too hard for, at the numbers. You know, I know me and you, D-Rock, both rely on numbers heavily. So, I mean, honestly, I would just go with the team total over for Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Um, flexing in, in, in 29 total appearances, he had uh, 16 of those were starts. He posted a 6.86 ERA, 6.2 FIP, uh, 1.67 ERA with 74 strikeouts and 38 walks. Um, he was solid in the spring after coming over from Seattle. He had uh, two earned runs and nine innings pitch. But again, he's facing an offense who absolutely was mashing the ball all over the place against the better rotation um, in Philly on the road. Um, so I think the Braves come in. Obviously, 210 is, is a little bit um, too much juice for me to lay. I'll go with the team total over for Atlanta. Um, outside of that, I didn't really have much, D-Rock. Yeah, neither did I. I mean, unless you want to incorporate, unless you are a parlay guy, I know you were talking uh, off air about uh, having a parlay open, but yeah, I can't lay, I can't lay that. Even though I did make them even a bigger favorite, my lines made them a minus two forty favorite. The Braves, but there's just no value in them. I like the team total. I'm looking at five and a half at plus yeah, money like right that. now. Yeah, like I like that. that as well. They've gone over that in two of the three games so far. Um, I feel like the total nine is kind of accurate. I made mine eight point nine, so the number's right there. But I do think the uh, Braves bounce back uh, tomorrow. They they did blow today's game, but uh, other yeah, than that, mm-hmm. I do think they bounce back, uh, especially with the bats here uh, on the road. And the White Sox, like you said, they haven't shown anything offensively, defensively. They just haven't looked good. So uh, mm-hmm. even even though they had the lead on Saturday, they find ways to blow the game. So yeah, can't back the White Sox in any shape or form. So I agree. I think uh, looking towards the team total, especially at plus money, is a good look. Yeah, yeah, I, I I love that actually. So uh, we'll move right along to uh to the uh, still in the windy city actually. So we'll have uh, the Colorado Rockies with Dakota Hudson on the mound traveling to play the Chicago Cubs and uh, Shota Amanga 
will be on the mound for for the Cubbies. Uh, we have a minus one and a half for the Cubs, plus one ten, plus one and a half, minus one thirty uh, on the run line for Colorado. Uh, money line is minus two eighteen for Chicago, uh, plus one eighty for Colorado. Uh, what are you liking this one, D. Rock? Yeah, we're getting these low totals early in the season at Wrigley, and I, I got to go Oh, man, there. did I say the total? I'm sorry. I didn't say the total. No, you're good. No, you're good. It's at seven. Uh, yeah. Over is at plus 100. Mine, uh, the under is at minus 120, and that's where I'm going. I, I got the under seven. I know it's low. It doesn't scare me. I made my total 6.8. You Like you said, it's the debut uh, at home for Imanga for the Cubbies. And I think he's going to be ready to go. Everything that they've talked about him and him going overseas and coming here. Against the uh, Dakota Hudson for the Rockies, who, you know, he's had success against the Cubs in his career. 3-0 with a 372 ERA. He's really limited the Cubs in his in his career. So I love that. I love Imanga having his debut. I think he's going to be on it. Plus, the biggest factor is we have 12-mile-an-hour winds blowing in tomorrow at Wrigley. So it's going to be a cold, windy day. I don't think the ball is going to be flying around uh, out of the ballpark. So it's low, but it's low for a reason. Give me the under. Yeah, I'm with you. Uh, I'll just go a step further and not even leave it to the bullpens of either side. I'll just go first five under. Um, mm -hmm. I, I don't think we see a lot of runs, period, but I'll just be on the safe side. And like you said, among us, it should be a good debut for him. Colorado is not really good offensively. They didn't really show a lot. Actually, they show some fight, I guess, in um, – in the last game, but outside of that, not, not much to be uh, a lot to be yeah. desired with, with that, with the bats on that side. So uh, easiest pass on the board for me, as far as the side, um, but the total I'll go first five under uh, maybe look at some, you know, among the props. Uh, if, you're in, yeah. if you're into that, maybe some, some K's uh, look at his K props. You know, Colorado got a lot of swing and miss guys. So I, I would look at them. Um, I would look at the first five under. I would lean to Chicago on the run line, but I, I, I wouldn't play it. But I like your I like your underplay as well, D-Rock. Uh, so, yeah, we'll move right along to the nation's capital where we have the Pittsburgh Pirates traveling to play the Washington Nationals. Uh, Nationals minus 120. Uh, the, take, the get back is uh, plus 100 on the Pirates. Minus one and a half for the Pirates, plus 160. It's ironic they have the, the reverse favorite line. Uh, the oh, yeah. the reverse favorite um on the run line yeah and then plus one and a half for um washington minus 192 uh you got marco gonzalez going on the mound for pittsburgh and you got mckenzie gore going for the nats here uh honestly d-rock i'm mean, gonna be honest i was really impressed with pittsburgh um over the yeah. uh, over the weekend uh the nats showed some fight in game two versus cincinnati they actually showed some fight again in game three uh they blew it i think they allowed three runs in the top of the um, in the bottom of the night for the Reds to kind of walk it off, basically two home runs in that ninth inning, I think, to walk it off. Uh, but I think they'll be better at home. I, I'm a big fan of Mackenzie Gore. Um, they are uh, – he's been solid in spring outside of, like, his last start, uh, but he did have 10Ks in that start. He's just got – got to be control. He got to control his consistency. I mean, he's got to be more consistent with his control. I'm sorry. Uh, but, yeah, I, like I said, man, Pittsburgh, before today, I, I, in my notes, I got 22 to 10. They outscored Miami. Now – Miami's obviously not, you know, the the best team, but I still think Pittsburgh performing at that high of a level was uh, a pretty good outing. Uh, Gonzalez, he allowed a lot of contact in the spring. Uh, he gave up 14 runs in 15 innings, uh, four home runs, 5.22 ERA last year with uh, with Seattle. I do think that he can give it up uh, to the Washington lineup as well. So I, I like Washington. I like the over as well, uh, D Rock. And if you're into like player props, I mean Connor Joe, he had back to back two plus hits game, two plus hits games uh, after going hitless in the first. Now this is not counting today. Uh, I did my notes before today's games uh, concluded. So maybe look at a total base prop for uh, for Connor Joe. But I do like the Nats and I do like the over. Yeah, the four and O Buckos. I, I didn't think I'd be able to say that, right. but yeah, they have they've have looked good. Uh, and I didn't expect a start from the fish either, a slow start. But I agree. Yeah. I'm gonna take a shot with you uh, in the Nationals on the money line minus one sixteen. I made him a minus one thirty favorite with Mackenzie Gore. I do like Mackenzie Gore. And I'm not the biggest Marco Gonzalez fan either. I used to fade him all the time when he pitched back in Seattle. And you know, both teams. I think both teams, not just the Pirates, I think both teams have looked better than I thought they would open up as. So I'm going to take the better pitcher, the 
better team, I think, right now in the Nationals. And I'm going to continue to fade Marco Gonzalez. I think they'll be able to put up some runs. So he couldn't even go three innings uh, in his one start against the Nationals back in the day. So I think the Nationals, this is a good spot for them. So I'll take the short uh, price on the money line with them, minus 116. Yeah, so we'll we'll keep it moving right along, uh, right up right up the street. Actually, we'll go to uh, to Baltimore, where we have the Kansas City Royals traveling to play the Baltimore Orioles, who uh, cost me a lot of money today. Uh, we got Michael mm. Walker uh, making his Royals debut, going against Dean Kramer. Um, we have one and a half Baltimore minus one and a half on the run line, plus one thirty, and we have plus one and a half minus one. Uh, what is this? Minus one fifty uh, for Kansas City. Uh, money line minus 160 for Baltimore plus 135 for Kansas City um, total eight and a half D-Rock what you like here yeah I'm going to save my official play for later in the show a little tease but I do like the Orioles in this spot I do think they'll bounce back uh, after finally taking their first loss of the season four to one to the Halos I just can't get behind the Royals offense I know they, they exploded today they put up 11 runs but usually when a team bursts out with a lot of runs like that I like to come back the following day and fade them kind of like what happened with the Orioles. So I, I think we see a nice outing from Dean Kramer, and I do think we'll see some regression from those Royal Royal bats. So I, I, I like the Orioles here. Yeah, uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not even going to go in too deep into it. Uh, I like Baltimore's team total to go over. Uh, they had 24 runs on 24 hits in uh, the two previous games. Like I said, I'm not counting today. And also something to monitor is Waka was dealing with a bruised middle finger, um, so I'm not sure how sharp he'll be which is kind of trouble against this lineup, especially after what they did today, um, not, not mustering up a lot of uh, a lot of runs. So I like Baltimore to get get going, like the team total to go over. If I had to play it on the um, on the side, I would lean to them on a the run line. Just more bang for your book. I think the offense yeah. will be explosive. Like you mentioned, Kansas City, due to regress a little bit, I think the offense obviously is not as good as they showed today. So, yeah, I like the Baltimore team total to go over. Um, and, if I had, and if I had to make a play on the side, I would go with um, – I'm gonna go with the Baltimore team total over um, for that. If you can find a good price, what do you see? Uh, a price on the run line for 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 the not just for the team for the team total. I didn't see a team oh, total when I made my notes. Let me for Baltimore. Yeah, let me see for for a team total for the Orioles four and a half at plus money. I love oh yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm taking that all the way. That that might be that might be one of my dogs. But yeah, uh, so I'll take <laughs> that uh, four and a half. <laughs> I definitely definitely take that. So uh, yeah, so we me and D Rock. A line there. Uh, before we get to the next game, I want to tell you about uh, Cut. Cut is a peer-to-peer -peer social betting platform that's U.S.-based and available in 40 states. So you can head to cut.com and uh, use promo code SGPN for a $10 deposit bonus. Um, you also can check out Underdog Fantasy. Play their fantasy pick them for a chance to win 100 times in NBA, MLB, NHL, college basketball, and more. Sign up today using promo code MLB SGPN to get 100% deposit, deposit match. Uh, and lastly, we're also going to be brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets, a uh, sports betting research platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use code SGPN to get 50% off your first month and start making smarter bets today. All right, D-Rock, let's, uh, let's move on to uh, the fish we just talked about. Two teams that we both, um, I think, were fading uh, earlier in the season. I'm going to go with the uh, Los Angeles Angels traveling to Miami to face the Marlins. Uh, on the hill for the Angels will be Chase uh, Sil uh, Sasev? Silsev, I think that's his name, against, Mac against Max Meyer. Um, we have a... Let me find the total. Uh, where are we at? Let's see. Uh, the fish minus one eighteen on the on the money line plus uh, minus one hundred two for the halos. Total eight and a half. Uh, plus one and a half minus one ninety two for Miami. Minus one and a half plus one sixty for the Angels. Uh, D Rock man, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't like either side. If I had to, if I had to go with something, I would probably go. With, with Miami coming off of that uh, that bad showing, um, Meyer he he threw he, he was pretty good in the spring. He threw seven scoreless, uh, striking out five batters and walking one. Uh, the Halos we talked about it before we came on. Definitely a fade. Um, yeah. I know Baltimore is one of the better teams in the league, but 
you know, that series was a joke out, outside of what they did today. I mean, they were outscored 24 to seven before the game today. So um, I'm going to go with, with the fish at home, land a short number. I think they can get it. I think they can get it done. I don't think the angels can, can recuperate. I mean, can, uh, can basically repeat what they did today. So I'm going with um, the fish land a short number at home. Yeah, big, the biggest question, can the Fish finally get in the win column? I, like I said earlier, I just honestly can't believe they got swept by the Pirates. But, uh, you know, tomorrow is the day, Lante. I probably yeah. won't have action. <laughs> same same thing with you. I don't really like the game. But for, for the show purposes, I do like the Fish straight up minus 116. I made them a minus 130 favorite. And like you mentioned at the top, I'm going to be fading the Angels a lot this season. Coming off a big win yet uh, today, now having traveling to Miami, I just don't think this is going to be a good spot for them. So Fish finally get their first win of the season tomorrow. Yeah, um, yeah. That's a, <clears throat> excuse me, that's an ugly game. <laughs> Def- definitely an ugly game that you don't uh, you don't have to bet every game. So nope. uh, we're just we're just talking about it. So uh, we, we got a good one here though. We'll, we'll, we'll go to. Um, We'll go to Philadelphia, where the Cincinnati Reds will be traveling um, over to take on the Phillies. We got Andrew Abbott on the mound going against Christopher Sanchez. We have a. I'm sorry, I'm, my my screen is not working how I want it to. Uh, we have the Philadelphia uh, Phillies land 170, take back 142 for the Reds, minus one and a half, plus 130 for the Phillies, plus one and a half, minus one. 55 for the Reds. Uh, man, this is a good series, D Rock. I think both yeah. teams, you know, I mean, it's hard to kind of gauge uh, the Phillies because, you know, they played against the Braves and, and the Braves are just, you know, a, a light years ahead of a, a lot of people. But what do you like here? Yeah, my first home puppy. Give me the give me the home uh give me the dog the Reds on the money line minus 1 uh plus 142. I only made the Phillies a minus 135 favorite Lante. I don't think Christopher Sanchez should be this big of a favorite especially against a Reds team who's looked really good especially being able on offense to put up some runs. Small sample size, but you know, in the 3 4 games that they've played, they're averaging six and a half runs per game. I think they'll they'll be able to get a lot off of Sanchez. So I like the Reds team total over I, plus one forty two. I, I think they're extremely live, and I'm just gonna continue to fade Christopher Sanchez. So yeah, give me the Reds. Yeah, I lean that way as well. Um, I like the over a lot more. Uh, I know Philadelphia struggled, like I said, a little bit offensively, but you know Atlanta, Atlanta was at the top of their rotation, so I don't think you mm-hmm. could expect them to you know hit the cover off the ball. But Abbott, you know, he does allow a solid amount of contact. I think Philly would be able to capitalize. Also, Philly's bullpen has been atrocious. Uh, so if Sanchez can't give you, you know, a nice stretch, Cincinnati could have some success there as well, which will add more runs in. Um, the Reds scored uh, 16 run, 15 runs um, in the first two games on 20 hits. So they're hitting the ball extremely well. And, and like I said, if Sanchez can't give you uh, a nice stretch here, I think they'll be able to get some some runs off him. So I, I like the Reds as well. I like the over a whole lot, a whole lot more. Um, maybe even a first five over if you if you're into to that kind of thing if you don't want to play the full, uh, full game. But so next up, D Rock, I I got only um a pitcher for the for the Rays. I don't have a pitcher for the Rangers. I mean, they just finished up playing. Do you see anything for that? Or yeah, I think it's gonna over? be. I think it's gonna be Dane Dunning from what I got. But you know, it is subject to change. But I do think it's Dane Dunning going for. Uh, yeah. Do you do you have anything a lot for that game? I mean, because I don't want to give out. You know. Just... Yeah. It, no, it was my game. I, I see lines as well. So uh, Rays uh, minus one sixteen favorite at home, minus one hundred two for the Rangers. Over under is at eight and a half. Uh, minus one and a half for the uh, Rays. Minus uh, 195 plus one and a half is at minus 164 for the Rangers. Uh, give me the raise here at home, though. Uh, I Like I said, I made him a minus 130 favorite. Last few games, the pitching really hasn't been there for the Rangers. Offense, I'm not worried about. I think they have one of the best lineups in baseball. But, you know, pitching-wise, they, they haven't had the best pitching performance in this first series against the Cubbies. So, you know, I, I do worry how, about how they'll play from behind, you know, because the past few games where they've had to come back and play from behind just hasn't looked good. Today was an example of it. Now going against Dane Dunning, I haven't been a big Dane Dunning guy either. I think the bats kind of wake up for uh, the Rays. They get back in the win column. Uh, kind of got the bricks beat off of them today, but I think they yeah, come no, back no. at home and I think they uh, destroy Dane Dunning. So give me the Rays minus 116. 
Yeah, I'm. Um, I was impressed with the Rays, man. I, I, I really was. I mean, we all know, you know, what that organization is, is made of. Whenever you think that they don't have a lot left, they always seem to to find a way. Um, Texas was good as well. I mean, they they lost a tough one today, but like I said, I mean, they they've won five straight in in, in this series though. But at home, I, I do I do think some of the points that you made with Tampa is, is pretty good. Uh, they scored five plus runs in two of the two of the last three uh, two of the three versus Toronto, and that was against Bassett and Kikuchi. So I'm pretty sure that there'll be some runs in this game as well. So I lean Tampa, lean over um, in, in this matchup. Uh, would not hate taking a team total over for Tampa, just depending on who's on the mound. Um, for you know, if we do get a confirmed pitcher, I'm just waiting for that. So uh, we'll move on to the next game which will be the Detroit Tigers and the your New York Mets, D-Rock. The New York Mets uh, making his debut will be Sean Manayo on the mound uh, oh. for the Tigers. It's going to be Reese Olsen. Um, let me find my let me find my numbers for this game. Okay, we got minus 130 for the Mets, plus 110 on the take back for the Tigers. Total of eight. Um, on the on the run line, we got minus one and a half, plus 164 for the Mets, plus one and a half, minus... 198 for the Detroit Tigers. What you got here, D-Rock? Oh, holy shit. I, I mean, I don't understand how the Mets continue to be favorites. <laughs> I, I I truly don't. I I we gotta we gotta hit up Consig because we gotta start applying for to be a bookmaker because I just don't understand how the Mets are favorite in every game after they have no heart, no will, no determination. This team is pathetic, <laughs> Monte. It seeing them in person opening day. It, it was just a travesty. They couldn't hit to save <laughs> their life. The whole Reese Hopskin thing, and then him the next oh, yeah. day to come and yeah. destroy us. It's just typical Mets. It's literally typical Mets. Uh, the pitching isn't good. Luis Severino's garbage. Um, Sean Manai, Trust me, I, I know no, that. Yeah, Trust I have me, I no faith in anything the Mets do right now. Plus 118 for an undefeated team. And yes, granted, they play the Chicago White Sox. It doesn't matter. They've shown that they can come from behind to win games. Detroit is a better team than the Mets right now. Mets might be a bottom five team. And I'm not even just like gassing it right now. The Mets are so bad. Continue to fade them. If the books continue to give, uh, put them as the favorite, take the plus money with the Tigers. Tigers are going to win. Yeah, man, I couldn't agree with you more. And I, I actually like Manaya. Um, he he was solid in the spring, minus you know his first start. But like you said, man, I, I can't do it. And I'm big on the Tigers this year. I think we all were pretty much leaning their win total over. Uh, so division stuff as well. Yeah. But I mean, you laid it out perfect, man. I, I can't take the Mets at, at that number. Um, I I would look at under. Obviously, we talked about the Detroit um, yeah. unders. Uh, definitely don't believe in the Mets offense. I think Detroit offensively is kind of hit or miss so i, I like mm -hmm. the under better uh definitely would take the plus money with, with detroit so um we'll move on to the next game which will take will take place in houston where Moonoff is probably somewhere crying because his houston astros got swept by the yankees today uh right. so we'll go with um the toronto blue jays traveling to the houston Astro astros we got bowden francis on the mound for toronto blue jays and uh ronnell Renel Blanco for the Astros. Um, we have the Astros land minus 142, plus 120 on the take back. Total of nine, minus one and a half, plus 142 for Houston, plus one and a half, minus 170 for Toronto. Uh, man, D Rock, it's, it's tough to, you know, I told you I lost a lot of money on Houston just because the Yankees just don't match up with Houston yeah. um, that well. They haven't historically. I mean, but they could see you struggle at home. I mean, it's, it's bleeding over from last year. Houston is. Uh, it wasn't a good start for either side, actually. Toronto got a bounce back win today um, with Gosman on the mound. But overall, I didn't think they looked too impressive at all. Um, Toronto, you know, they, they had three runs combined in the last two games um, after scoring, what, I think nine, eight or nine in, in the uh, in the first game. Yeah. And, you know, Houston, they started they start out pretty good, but then they, they couldn't sustain anything. Uh, they didn't score past the second in both of the first two games. Uh, they were shut down by, by the Yankee bullpen all weekend. I don't think the Yankee bullpen allowed a run up until today, um, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna bank on Houston's offense getting going here. I do I do think we can see some runs um on both sides. So I'll I like the over. I'll lean to Houston to kind of get back on track. I mean, who had Houston starting off over? 
Um, Jesus. You know, I'm pretty sure you could have got a big price on that. So I think we can see a good bounce back uh, at home for Houston. Hopefully, Moon off in attendance to watch that. What you got for it? Yeah, I'm actually going to go the other way. I like the under nine and a half at minus 122. I made my total 8.8. You know, I don't know what's going on with the Astros right now, but until they figure it out, I'm going to just keep attacking the totals. They've gone under this number in every game so far. And granted, you you made a good point. Uh, the Yankees, they do have the best bullpen right now. I mean, besides yeah, today, they having to let up a uh, run. Uh, Blue Jays. They're middle of the pack, 377 ERA. They've allowed – um how many runs have they allowed? I'm looking at the number right now. They've allowed four runs, uh, so not nothing too crazy. But I do think both teams are going to be able to struggle, especially the Astros. I don't even know what it is. So until they figure it out, I, I got to keep banging on the under for uh, the Astro games. Yeah, man, that's – I don't know. That's that's t- that's tough. That, that's that's tough, tough for them to start off. That, yeah, for them to start off like that. Yeah, but before we move on to the next game, let's talk about Cut. Cut is a peer-to-peer social betting platform that's U.S. based and available in 40 states. Uh, P2P social betting is a new and uh, better way to to bet. You can bet directly against your friends or other users on on sports, politics, pop culture, and other events with variable. I mean, with verifiable outcomes. Um, plus tons of fun social features that give it a uh, give it the feel of a betting social network. Cut offers lower VIG and fully customizable odds. You can create your own bets as well. They handle um, the payments, the payment side of things. So you never have to chase anyone down for money. Social features, group chats, betting leaderboards, head to head history, user profiles, fan groups and more rewards. Get cash back every single time you bet against your friends. Um Tonight, I, I saw Sean post some stuff up about what he liked tonight. I was going to go against him, but I didn't get it in in time before the game started. So, uh, Sean, you, if you're listening, you're lucky I didn't get in. I would have took your money on that. Um, but, yeah, you can download Cut today uh, in the App Store over, over at Cut.com. That's K-U-T-T and use promo code SGPN for a 10% deposit bonus. Uh, Underdog Fantasy um, is the fastest – is it was the easiest place to play fantasy sports. It's also the fastest growing – fantasy app in the industry um uh, man i i know the the nba guys have been well i'm an nba guy too but i haven't been on uh this year but yeah the nba podcast is doing a great job i think scott moon hit a couple of these maybe two or three in a row um you know it's a pick em game you can pick whatever your favorite players will have higher or lower stat total in the week's game for a chance to win big you can win up to 100 times your money in a single bet uh, pick between two to five players to be able to pick them entry. You can also make rivals picks, uh, which puts two players against each other. Um, you know, which player will have the most points, which player might have the most hits or most K's um, in, in our case. So, yeah, man, I think uh, I've, I've been killing it with underdog in the NFL. Haven't haven't dove that much into it in, in the baseball just yet. Waiting to get some more stuff. You, have you been playing any underdog, D- D-Rock? No, I haven't, but I do. I do like a lot of player props. I got to get on, especially hundred percent match to depo- uh, deposit. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'm gonna place. I'm gonna place me an entry tonight for the uh, for the late game uh, in the NBA for you know the Knicks and the Oklahoma City Thunder. I think it'll be a, a fun game to place some props on. But yeah, so we'll go to the next game. Uh, we'll go to actually we'll go to Arizona, where the New York Yankees will be traveling to Arizona to make the short trip. Uh, I guess it's a short trip from Houston to Arizona. Uh, I, I'm not a I'm not a geography major, so moon off window. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. I'm pretty sure it's a short trip. It should it shouldn't be too bad. Where uh the Yankees uh, they'll play the D-backs. Um, Arizona actually a home pup. Uh, plus one hundred five. Uh, Yankees minus one twenty five. Arizona plus one twenty five minus one forty nine on the run line. Minus one and a half plus one twenty four. Uh, for the Yankees over under set at ten. That's a big big number. Uh, D-Rock, what you like here? Yeah, give me the home dog. Give me the D-backs on the money line, uh, plus 105. Uh, I made him a minus 115 favorite. I know, you know, you and all the Yankee fans are excited about how this season <laughs> yeah. All right, And rightfully so. I mean, you shit, way better than the Mets. So, I mean, you guys are playing really good baseball. You guys have the best bullpen right now. The bats are looking good. Uh, Juan Soto looks really good, too. Giancarlo Stan looks good. I mean, it just sucks how good the Yankees do look. 
but I, I do want to see a little more out of uh, Luis Gill before I start backing him. And yeah. I do think the, the D-backs will be able to put up some runs uh, on the Yankees. Total seems a little high at 10. I made my total uh, 9.3. Seems a little high at 10. I lean under, but uh, I got to take the plus money here with the snakes. Yeah, and this is this is my game. My bad. I didn't mean to kick it to you. I just I had my notes wrote down wrong. But yeah, impressive start for for the Yankees. Like I said, they exercise some demons. They don't perform well versus Houston. They they've had their number for for quite some time, especially in the playoffs. But yeah, I'm not going to get too excited about the Yankees. I mean, you know, they do have a way of tearing your heart out, injuries and and what and what the case. But I, I do think they they play in some really good baseball. Bullpen was lights out, like you meant like you mentioned. Uh, they need to get off the better starts though. They only only one of their 17 runs were scored in the first five all weekend, you know, prior to this previous game. Oh, excuse me. So, and like I said, like you said, Gil, I need to see a little bit more. Um, you know, he posted a 2.87 ERA, 0.83 whip, uh, 23 to 6 K to walk ratio over, over 15 and two um, innings in a grapefruit league. So he's made uh, seven big league appearances, all starts um, in, in his career. 3.78 ERA, 1.3 whip. Uh, he's just over, just under a two to one uh, K to walk ratio across 33 innings. So I, I think he'll be fine. I mean, all he has to do is get to the bullpen and give him a chance. And like you mentioned, the bullpen is it is lights out. Nelson had a rough year, but a better spring. Um, I do think the Yankee lineup could get to him early and often if they can carry some of that momentum from Houston. Uh, my my gut says it's a kind of a letdown spot for the Yankees being coming off that emotional series win off a sweep actually. Um, I don't I don't remember the last time the Yankees have have swept the, the Astros, uh, especially in their um, in their home in their home park. So I'm kind of on the fence about it. I'll lean to the Yankees. Uh, I do think that total is a little a little high as well, D Rock. Um, so right now just just a lean to the Yankees, uh, but I'm with you on the under. So uh, next up, we'll go to uh, Oakland, where the Boston Red Sox will be traveling. Um, they have Tanner Hoke on the mound against Joe Boyle. We have uh, plus 114 for Oakland, minus 135 for Boston, plus 1.5, minus 149 for Oakland, minus 1.5, plus 124 for Boston. Total at 8. Um, what do you like here, D-Rock? Yeah, this one is my game. I don't think we're getting a bad number here with the Sox. I made them a minus 140 favorite, so it's right in that number. Uh, I'm going to take the Red Sox on the money line, minus 134. I think this is a nice series for the Red Sox, you know, to boost their resume, to get some wins uh, on their on their record. You know, A's finally were able to get their first win of the season, uh, and I just think that's the perfect time to fade them now. They, they're coming off a win. Now they're, they're coming home. Uh, I'm going to fade them. Their pitching and defense has not looked good, and – you know, the A's have kind of made the Guardians look like a top five offense the last series. So I feel like we're getting a really good discount with the much better team. So I'm going to go with uh, the Red Sox here, minus 134. Dang, man. I think this might be the first game that we disagreed on. I think I'm going I'm to go with Oakland. Uh, I'm going I'm to go with Oakland. Uh, I thought Boston exceeded my expectations this weekend. They played a really good Seattle yeah. team, really tough, especially with, with their aces at the top of that lineup, man. Castillo um, got jammed up a little bit as well. Uh, but yeah, I think Boston performed pretty well. Um, Joe Boyle was impressive in three big league starts towards the end of the season. Uh, 1.69 ERA, 0.81 whip across 16 innings. Uh, he looked good in the spring minus his last outing. Uh, I think he has solid stuff. Just needs to work on his command um, a, a little bit. He he does walk a lot of batters, which is kind of an issue. Uh, he walked 15 batters over 18.1 um, well, 18 and a third innings pitch. So you might want to look at some some walk props for, for him. I think Boston is one of the more patient teams at the plate. Um, I, I do think Hulk, he, you know, he's arguably been the cup. He argues, arguably has been uh, Boston's, you know, best starter in the spring. 2.40 ERA, 16 um, Ks to, to three walks over 15 innings. But he does struggle against lefties. And Oakland has quite a few lefties in the lineup. Um, I think they could keep this one close, man. Boyle, he, he, I think he could pitch pretty good as long as he can keep the walks down. I think he can get going. I love playing Oakland first five uh, because I don't want them to implode and turn into, you know, uh, a minor league team down the stretch. So I'll split the unit. I'll go half first five on Oakland um, and then half on the full game. Mm. So yeah, that, I think that's like our first disagreement yeah, that we had. Yeah, yeah, yeah first one. But th yeah. that, that's not that's not good. <laughs> Every time you know, <laughs> usually we're on the same side, it goes the other way. 
<laughs> yeah, well, we'll see. At least one of us will win. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, so we'll travel to uh to San Diego next, where the St. Louis Cardinals will be traveling in um with pitcher Kyle Gibson going against Matt Waldron. We have uh, minus 106 for the San Diego Padres, and we have minus 113 for uh, St. Louis, plus one and a half, minus 188 for the Padres, minus one and a half, plus 167 for St. Louis. Total is going to be at eight. And D Rock, I'm leaning to San Diego here, man. They put it together today. I think they score. Well, I think they're still scoring, actually. Um, yeah, they had they're 12, still running they had, the bases. Yeah, I had tw- they had 12 runs the last time I checked. Um, St. Louis was pitiful offensively, but you know, I don't I don't know how much that had to do with the Dodgers or them, so I don't want to take too much into it. Um, Gibson, he was horrible in spring training. Um, like it could be a get right spot for San Diego's lineup, um, coming off of this major outing that they had today. Um, Waldron has pitched well, only two earned runs allowed in spring training. He went five and two thirds um, with nine Ks versus St. Louis last year, only allowed one run. So he has had some success against them. Um, I'm going to keep it short and sweet, man. I like San Diego. I like the team total to go over. I would even lay it on the run line um, with them. Obviously you have to go and, and shop because they're yeah. the plus one and a half. So I would try to lay a run and a half. Probably can get a bigger price on that, but I do think San Diego and that lineup takes care of business um, against the cars. Yeah, I actually like two plays here. I'm going to take the Padres as home dogs plus 102. I agree with you. Uh, and I also like the over eight. Um, I made my total 8.9, so much bigger than the eight. And, you know, the Cardinals are playing tonight, Sunday night baseball. And, you know, for them to be the favorite tomorrow against the Padres doesn't really make a lot of sense to me, especially like you mentioned, they've exploded right now. I think the, the total is uh, 13 to four. They just beat the brakes out of uh the giants so yeah. you know i i did say earlier that i like to fade teams that have bit have had big um explosions but i just really don't trust this cardinal team it goes back to the future episode with malcolm we just don't really think the cardinals have really solved all their issues and we we're looking to fade them the whole season if i'm being honest so i think they'll be able to get to kyle gibson uh especially the way they're swinging the bat. I think the Padres are the much better team at home getting plus money. Give me a Padres plus one Oh two. And I do lean over eight. Yeah. I'm with, I'm with you there, man. Uh, I'm with you there. Uh, we got the penultimate game as, as Mal would say, uh, we got, we got, we got the Cleveland guardians traveling to play the Seattle Mariners. Um, Seattle minus one Oh five Cleveland minus one fifteen. total at total at eight. Um, you can get, Plus one fifty on the run line for Cleveland minus one and a half. The take back is going to be plus one plus one and a half minus one eighty for Seattle. Got Tristan McKenzie going against uh, Emerson Hancock. D Rock, what you like here? Yeah, give me the Mariners here. Give me another home puppy, minus 102 with the Mariners. Uh, it's my t- team to win the whole thing. And I agree. I-, I think they didn't play up to their level of expectation, especially this first opening uh, series against the Red Sox, uh, especially when they had all their aces going. Uh, Gardens have looked good so far because of who they played. But, uh, you know, I do think they come down to earth in this series against the Mariners going to fade Tristan McKenzie here and this offense for the Guardians. I like the under. I made my total 7.5. Uh, I know it's a low total, but the Mariners' bats have not woken up, and I do think the Guardians come back to earth a little bit. So I'm going to – both offenses really haven't been all that impressive uh, for my standards. So I'm going to – I lean under, and I'm going to take the short home dog. Give me the Mariners. I think they're the better team. Yeah, I do think the Mariners are a better team, man, but I'm going to go the other way. Uh, I didn't like how Seattle struggled against Boston. I know it's a small sample size. Um, I don't know if I just overrated um, Seattle or underrated Boston, but I'm going to go for somewhere in between. I'm a big fan of McKenzie. Uh, he was solid in the spring after only pitching 16 in his last year. Um, in 22, had a 2.96 ERA, 0.95 whip, so he wasn't um, too bad. Allowed five runs in his 14 and two-thirds uh, in his pitch in spring training, 16 Ks. Um I, I do. I mean, just like every, I think every year we can say this, but you know, Cleveland offense struggles. Um, but I didn't like what I saw from Seattle, man. I, I, I don't know if it was just, you know, um, just a bad, just a bad weekend, but I'm going to go with Cleveland here. Um, Hancock rejoined the team due to Wu's injury. Uh, he was horrible in spring training, 11 earned runs in, in, in his last three outings. Uh, he did pitch well against Oakland, but I mean, does that really count? Um, so I'm gonna go with Cleveland here, D Rock. I think Cleveland can squeak it out in a low scoring game. I do think it's a, I do think it's an under type of game though. Um, so I'll go with Cleveland and under. 
uh, here. So I, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Opposite just, side. Yeah, yeah. Disagree two times in a row. Um, the last game, D-Rock, I, I don't see any pitchers. Well, I see James Paxson for the for the Dodgers, but do you see anything for the Giants? Yeah, for the Giants, Ke- uh, Keaton Wynn. Oh, okay, so uh, I, I see the lines. Though. We got minus, we got minus one and a half, uh, minus one hundred six for the Dodgers, plus one and a half, minus one fourteen for the Giants, uh, minus two thirty on the run line for, I mean, on the money line for the Dodgers, plus one ninety for uh, San Francisco. Um, total at eight. D. Rock, what you like here? Yeah, give me another dog. Giants on the money line, plus one ninety. You know, I, I get it. The Dodgers are really good, but. A minus 230 and increasing. It opened up at minus 220. Money's obviously coming in on the Dodgers. They're ballooned up to a minus 230. I think is insane for James Paxson. I, I don't understand how he could be this big of a favorite, especially against a giant team that, you know, I, I think has been decent to start the season. And, you know, Lante, but going back to what I was saying earlier, you know how we love to fade teams who play on Sunday night baseball. Yes, no sir. traveling is involved. But besides today, you know, the Giants have played really well. They're hitting the shit out of the ball. And I just think that the total is low, too, at 8. I set my number at 9.3. So I think we're going to see a lot of runs in this game, especially with both lineups. The Dodgers, we already know. the And the Giants lineup has surprisingly been good. So... With how good the Giants lineup has been, I think they're live tomorrow. I think maybe first five plus a half is live. Giants full game plus 190 is worth a sprinkle bet. So I'm on the dog, and I'm also on the over. I like over eight. Yeah, man, we can. Um, I, I actually tie this in to the lock and dog because this was going to be my dog. Um, and it comes at a perfect time because I think San Francisco was really impressive this weekend, um, uh, versus the versus the Padres. I mean, not today, but overall, I thought they hit the ball extremely well versus quality st- starters. I mean, Musgrave and Cease both uh, are are higher end um, starters. Um, they've seen Paxton this spring already, so familiarity is there, so that could be beneficial to them. Yeah, I, I think I, I think you're going to always get. Um, better numbers with the dog when you're facing the Dodgers. I mean, that's just it. Go, it goes to show the public's going to be all over the Dodgers run line. Um, I would even take the plus one and a half as well. Uh, also, I got a player prop, Michael Com- uh, Comforto. He's been really hot, six hits in three games, two home runs. So if you look for him, uh, maybe a total basis prop, uh, maybe sprinkle on a home run prop. Uh, Paxson is is prone to giving up the uh, the long ball, so I do like San Francisco for my dog, and I think they I think they love to win this game outright. D Rock, um, I don't know if you want to get into your dog or you want me to go into my lock or or what. Uh, you could start it off because I'm still trying to decide uh, my dog, but yeah, you start us off. Yeah, so I mean, I'm gonna go back to what we talked about earlier in in the show. I'm going with the I mean, even it's this is gonna be a plus money as well, but I'm going with Atlanta's team total to go over five and a half. Uh, we mentioned flexing he you know, hasn't been, he, he hasn't been good. Uh, he wasn't good last year. Um, I, I think Atlanta is going to come back with a vengeance after blowing that game. What I don't know if they blew, I don't know if you want to call it blowing, but they, they had that game and they kind of gave it away. So I think we see an angry um, Atlanta team uh, against their inferior to, to the White Sox. I don't think, I don't think Flexing can get around that lineup. So I like Atlanta's team total go over five and a half at plus money. For my lock, as for my dog, you already know I just went with San Francisco. Um, plus what is it, 190? Yeah, yeah, plus 190 is my dog. All right, for my dog, I mean, guys, if you guys haven't realized what I'm doing now, let's fade the Mets. Give me the Tigers on the money line, <laughs> plus 118. This Mets team is an embarrassment to baseball, so gonna continue to fade them. Don't know why they're the favorite. Um, and for my uh lock, I like a team total as well. I'm gonna go over four and a half for the Orioles. I think that's an ex- extremely low number. We're getting plus money on a team total where. The Orioles, they're extremely aggressive, especially with runners on base. They're, last year, they were one of the best teams with runners on scoring position. I think, once again, I think they come back to earth a little bit. Today was a down day, but I think they come back against a Royal team that just don't have a lot of faith in. So I'm going to go team total over four and a half for the Orioles at plus money as my lock. Yeah, man. And uh, that'll do it for us. I uh, appreciate everybody hanging out. Sorry, my, I'm, I'm a little under the weather, so my voice is kind of – cracking a little bit but yeah we got off to a late start but man good good to be back with you d-rock this is probably our first podcast we've done man in a while i think like since last year we just yeah if, I, if i'm thinking about it yeah so i mean yeah, man, good 
Yeah, you know, I was just going to say, but between me and you, we usually don't do a lot together, but excited for uh, this season. And yeah, it's kind of bananas how, you know, we uh, haven't really done one together recently. Yeah, man. So appreciate everybody in the chat. Uh, the usual suspects, uh, Trev, um, we got Mal in there as well. Uh, and Sano, all you other guys that join the chat who always uh, join and speak the show a whole lot more entertaining, than, you know, with your comments. And uh, throwing out some bits as well. So yeah, man, we'll uh, we'll be back tomorrow. I'm not sure who's going to be on. I know I won't be on, so uh, you won't have to listen to my voice. Well, I feel bad if you have to listen to Moon off. So uh, <laughs> you probably would rather hear me. But uh, yeah, man. So we'll good luck to everybody tonight, tomorrow, and hopefully we can get you on the right side of some of these games. Um, so yeah. So we got we got finish up watching NC State and Duke. I wish they both could lose, but whatever. But yeah, man. We'll see everybody. Got any parting words, D Rock? Like the, the famous Malcolm Benford says, we'll see you down the road. Cheers. <laughs>